My name is Eric Beatty. This is my Breed Love Revival DR Deluxe Acoustic Guitar. And in just a moment, I'm going to show you how to turn this into this. Stay tuned. Hmm. What have we here? Now, wait a minute, that won't work. Much better. All right, folks, as you can see, we are gonna actually take the fretboard here and show you how to create fretboard inlays the easy way. I found this company on Instagram, they're called Fretlook, and they have some of the most visually appealing fretboard inlays that I've ever seen. I've decided to go with one that I think complements my Breedlove Revival DR Deluxe guitar perfectly. And I think you'll be able to agree by the time this project is done, it's gonna look stunning. Now I've been in contact with Fret Look for a little bit and hopefully we can get together and do a few more projects. If so, we'll show you how those go as well. But for now, let's start with the process of putting on these fretboard inlays. I've chosen the Oak Tree Maple, so that's what I'll be putting on my fretboard today. Open this baby up. If you look inside, we have a free pick, just like the ones you see down here. That's very cool. Every pack comes with one of these. It says freshen up your frets, pick it up, and you can also have a little scan code here for instructions on how to do this. So here's what happens when you open the whole thing. Very nice packaging, I might add. All right, so here's all the hashtags. Here's all the different things we can use. And at the very end, you could see what's going on here. This is very professional packaging. I'm really happy with that. Now, lay that to the side. Each little part shows you which fret that they go on. Okay, so we got all the way up to 21 frets on this acoustic guitar. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take these and we're gonna just cut them along the lines here, perpendicular to the lines on each one. You don't even have to take the strings off for this. According to the instructions that I seen earlier, when I was uh, first looking at these, all you have to do is slip it underneath the strings and line it up and push it down and you're good to go from there. You even have a center line on the actual thing here so that you can see where the center of the fretboard is. Isn't that cool? So let's get right on into this. All right, so I've pulled up the instructions on my phone. I'll be reading these off as we put these on so that there's no question about how to do this. Now, they recommend cleaning your fretboard first because when you play guitar, your body has natural oils and things that it produces that can cause the adhesive process to not operate to its fullest potential. But I just had this guitar set up about a couple weeks ago and I haven't played it much since then. So I'm just gonna just go with the fact that it should be nice and clean now anyway. What it does say as well is to make sure to support the neck. So I've actually got a little neck support makeshift thing here that I've had for a while. Came out of the Breedlove case that I don't actually need it inside. So I'm gonna take that and put it underneath the neck now and support it. Okay, so now the neck is stable. I've also picked up some scissors so we can actually cut the fret inlays before we lay them down. Now let's see what the preparation says. Step one, preparation. Open the packaging, check. Remove the pick and inlay stickers, check. Pick's still in there, but I know it is. Have scissors ready, check. Tip, place the guitar on a flat and padded surface. This is flat, it's not necessarily padded, but that'll do. Support the guitar neck, check. Next. Installation, step two. Cut off all inlay stickers along their entire length. Cut as close as possible to the sticker so that you can easily remove the transfer film after sticking it on. Basically, we're gonna take these and we're gonna cut them as close as possible to the inlay sticker here on either side. Okay, so it'll be easier to remove these. Okay, so on either side here, closest to the edge, that we can get that to work. Now, I don't know if you can see this or not, but there's an actual, almost like a little bubble around the actual inlay here. And I'm gonna try to cut not at where that bubble is, but maybe just on either side of it. They're just almost like a little transparent outline. You might be able to see that, hopefully you can. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by cutting the first three and we'll see how that goes. And now we have the first three numbered frets, one, three, and five, which will correspond to the first five frets here. Now it says in the installation process, we're gonna peel the transfer film, which is the clear adhesive, off of the blue paper behind it. The sticker will stick 
to the transfer film. In other words, when you pull this off, the sticker will stick to it. Like I was telling you about, these little um, halo, I guess, around here, those are actually part of the sticker. You'll pull the film off when it's on here, and then that little sticker will be on top of that. And so the clear will peel right off of the actual sticker itself. Okay, so it says start with the frets that have a dot. All right, we're gonna start with the frets. That's a tip. We're gonna start with the frets that have a dot. Let's go ahead and peel off the fifth fret. We're gonna start with that one since it has a dot. So let's peel that off. Just like that, we discard the blue paper, and now we have the actual sticker itself under the film. So it says, this is very interesting, we want the number to face the side that's closest to us. So the number is gonna be on, if I'm looking at the pit guard, it's gonna be opposite that, and the number is gonna be able to be read from this direction. So I can see the five on this side. Okay, so we're gonna take this, carefully move it to line that little center line up underneath here with that. Okay, and this is fret five. So I have three, five here. I'm gonna put it right in the center and look at the line as well. Just like that. Now it says, slide the transfer film and sticker through underneath the strings at the level, the sound hole for acoustic guitars or electric guitars at the pickups. Position the transfer film, including the sticker, below the strings in the middle of the fret to be installed. Check. Press the transfer film down on both sides so that the sticker sits over the entire surface in the middle of the fret. Smooth out the sticker and the transfer film with the included pick. Well, this is one already sitting here, so I'm just gonna use that one. Just gonna smooth that out. Make sure it's gonna get stuck on there very well. And I can actually see the color changing on the transfer film. I wanna get it on the, all the way around the sticker, and you'll probably be able to see the sticker being outlined now. We want it to be nice and smooth on all sides so that when we peel this film off, the sticker stays put. I don't even think you need it to be to the edge, but the sticker itself definitely needs to be stuck on there, all right? So there's number five. Repeat these steps for all the inlay stickers until you have installed them all. Wait 15 to 30 minutes so that the stickers can set. All right, so through the magic of editing, this will be uh, taken care of at the end when I have to wait those 15 minutes so that you don't have to wait those with me. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and put all of these on, install these, and we'll come back at the end to see what we have. Okay, so I've noticed my first offset inlay. Now the center line is here in the center, so it's gonna be like the other ones were. I'm gonna line it up to the center as close as I can to the center. This is gonna be the actual inlay for the oak tree. When we get it completed, it's gonna look like a huge oak tree leaf here, okay? So just follow the center guideline and then everything will line up. Now the other thing I'm noticing is as close as, when the frets get closer here, there's a lot of outline around these stickers. You're gonna to wanna to cut very close to the edge of the actual print, I would think, because you want it to be able to fit in those little small areas of the fretboard. Because if they don't, these are gonna be sticking on the frets and it's gonna be easier for them to come off and I don't want that to happen. Let's continue.
I've actually went back with a pick and made sure to press firmly down on all aspects of the sticker, not just the edges. I was originally going around the edges to get the edges nice, but then I realized I wasn't really paying attention to the middle where the actual sticker was. So I went back and did all that, and now we're down to our final few, all right? These are gonna be kind of delicate, but as you can see, I've cut them small enough so that they actually fit inside the frets, okay? And there's really no over overhang onto the frets themselves. So I'm gonna do the same thing with these, and then we'll be done as far as the installation process goes. So let's continue. glad these have these fretboard numbers on there because for a minute there I had to bend down and check to make sure that I was on the right fret and indeed I was so now when I go to 17 I don't have to worry about where my dots are I just go 15 16 17 and install it there so if all my fret numbers are on this side of me then we're doing good let's continue Last one, folks. Here we go. All right, here we have it. We have frets numbered one all the way to 21. Just a little tip as I was putting these on, right when I got down to bat number 15, the numbers are actually stickers too, so they're easy to pull off accidentally. I mean, no problem to get it back on, but really what I was doing was trying to keep any kind of like sharp turn in the actual paper. We don't want it to have like a sharp turn because then it tends to come off the sticker and the sticker tends to peel off. So we want to kind of make sure that it has a rounded arch every time we're pulling off so that actually the sticker comes off with the transfer paper. Now I'm going to set a timer, let this wait for 15 minutes, like it said, 15, 20 minutes, and then we'll come back and see what we've got. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we are back to it once again. I've actually given it to about an hour before I come back here. I've been watching a few YouTube videos myself, especially things from uh, a new guy that I've been aware of named Jonathan Cordy, or John Nathan Cordy, excuse me. Check him out. He's got some really good stuff on uh, Line 6, Quad Cortex, and Kemper Profiler, which I'm very interested in maybe acquiring one of these days. But it's been on here probably around an hour, so I'm gonna go ahead and read what it says here in step three. Step three, peel off the transfer film. Let's read the bullet points. Carefully peel off the transfer film on each bundle in turn, okay? Tip, grab the film on the right and left, twist it in from top to bottom while you peel it off. So both sides and you kind of roll it, I guess, off. So we're gonna try that. That gives it, like I said earlier, kind of like a sharp crease so that it actually releases the sticker. And bullet point three, all fret look inlay stickers are designed for a maximum number of frets. If there are more stickers than your guitar has frets, you can put the remaining stickers aside. And as we can see, these are on a maximum number of frets. Hopefully you've got a good view here. I've decided to do a close-up shot. I've tried to get that middle line right in the center of the G and the D string, which would be the center of the fretboard itself. So if I'm looking at it, I can see that all the way down, I've got that lined right up. Number three, the leftover materials such as transfer film and blue packing paper can be disposed of with household waste. Your guitar is ready. They've also got an included video tutorial. Also, you can remove 
your inlay stickers very easily and do something different, okay? So you can also see on how tutorials on how to remove the inlay stickers very, very easily, all right? So I'd definitely check those out. So let's, without further ado, do like it says here and try to remove these inlay transfer film and leave the inlay stickers as is. Just like that, there we have it. Very easy, I was worried about these stickers kind of peeling off when I was pulling back, but no problems whatsoever. Perfectly centered, no dots visible. I'm very, very happy with what this turned out like. Now, let's test it out and see how it plays. All right, so the fret inlays are installed now. As I was playing there, I didn't even realize they were on. I didn't feel anything under my fingers. I've been experimenting with some different pick right now. This is a Fender True Shell pick. Kind of been putting it through its paces. Don't have a review on that yet, but so far I can tell you it's a, it's a beast of a pick. Let's try that with the prime tone real quick. Very nice. So that's a song I've been working on a uh, solo for with the Gilbert family called Welcome Home. Really quick word about these picks that uh, I got from uh, Fred Look. By the way, I purchased the uh, actual inlays here and they sent me some of these picks to try. So this is my honest opinion of these. And so far it looks gorgeous. I can't believe how great it looks and how easy it was to install. I uh, can't wait to try it on the road, see how it holds up. This is the 0.6 millimeter, I believe it is and it's kind of flimsy. I actually started out playing guitar with these type of uh, picks. Can't get a whole lot of a pick attack out of that. Nice, if you like that bright sound, uh, the other one is a 0.88 millimeter. This is more my style. This is kind of a medium heavy. Sounds much better.
So I would definitely recommend a heavier pick if you're wanting to play bluegrass type of stuff. And that's why I stick with, tend to stick with 1.5 millimeters. That's about where my sweet spot is, so. Alright guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something today. Please, please, please check out Fret Look. I've got a very good feeling we'll be working together again soon, so be watching out for that. Check them out on their website. The link should be below in the description. And let me know in the comments what you think about this. If you've used Fret Look, let me know. And uh, I would love to discuss it with you. love to hear your thoughts about it. If you think this is a good fit for this guitar, I really think it is. I really enjoy the way it looks. I uh, can't wait to see how it performs live. Just as a side note, I remember doing something like this years ago when I first got my Strat. I used those little glittery star stickers that you could get by the sheet, and they were blue, and I would stick them on the frets and think, wow, this looks awesome, but eventually they wore off. They weren't, you know, quality, high-quality stickers made for the purpose of playing on your guitar like these are. So thanks to the guys over at Fret Look. I'll be staying in touch with them. I've got a few ideas already, so hopefully we can get some of those and make those happen. All right, until the next video, thanks so much for watching. Keep playing. Try these out. Leave me some comments below, and I'll see you on the next video, whatever that may be. Thanks for watching. God bless, and keep playing.